Okay, let's get right to it. RSA, uh, we require anyone with uh, raid walls or uh, something similar, especially tanks and healers, um, to get RSA. RSA, what it does is it announces things like, uh, since I'm a paladin, I'll bring up some of those, uh, Devo Aura. Now we have three paladins, so we don't want to overwrite Devo Aura. So we'll say when Devo Aura starts in any chat that you like, we use raid chat, and then we'll say when Devo Aura ends, so people know that I've used it. Uh, so when you call up things as a raid leader, sometimes you're not sure if that person actually used it. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll yell, you be Devo Aura. Uh, now, Devo Aura is very strange. It's kind of hard to tell, and, you know, you have a thousand buffs up there moving around, and it's only six seconds, so it's hard to know. So those things, as a raid leader, I, I feel are very important. Uh, battle reses, uh, display that in raid chat, make sure it's going off and it's happening. Uh, there's just a lot of things. Uh, tanks, when they use their large cooldowns. Now a healer, uh, who's obviously good enough to read chat and play at the same time, and I think that might even take years to get down, but let's, uh, I'm, I'm assuming um, you guys are playing at a higher level, uh, but the healer will know then he's not going to pop tree form to save the tank because he's already pop to very good cooldowns. He, he he knows he can leave him alone and heal the raid. This is the kind of stuff where I say communication is so important. Uh, this is communication. It's just automated and it's fantastic. So that's RSA. Uh, next up is Insidia Fails. Uh, let's see if I can bring that up for you. In City Fails, what that does is it tells people I exactly how they're failing. And what I really love about this, let's say, uh, I think Heart of Fear is a great place to say this. And uh, where is he? Vizoc, right? So Sonic Ring is that um, attenuation, right? People really bad at dodging. Now, we had a problem where people were really focusing on DBS and getting hit by these Sonic Rings, so I enabled it in raid chat. I, I usually just have it in officer chat because I want to know how people are doing, uh, and I don't really want to overkill them with, uh, you screwed up. But in a new raid team, I think it's fantastic. It's a, it's a very passive-aggressive way to tell people when they're not doing very well. So if someone, no one wants to be last on the list, you know, hit by eight sonic rings. They're like, uh, you don't have to say anything, right? So you've communicated to them in a non... Uh, it, it can't be interpreted as aggressive or rude or you're demeaning them, but they already know, and everyone knows, right? It, it tells them how they did on the fight, which is great. It's, are you following mechanics? Because everyone uses recount to see if their numbers are high, but if you have a guy that has really high numbers and dies, uh, dead people don't do DPS, right? So it's good to get those people on board with mechanics, and that seems to be a, a prevalent problem in... Um, World of Warcraft. Okay, next up is Pratt. Pratt is a chat program that allows you to copy and paste what people say. This is pretty important, I think, when making arguments to officers uh, saying, like, oh, this, this, this guy sent me a crazy tell, and uh, instead of trying to retype or explain, do it verbatim. Copy, paste, say, you know, this guy seems rude, what do you think? And, and they might have a different perspective, but being able to copy and paste uh, all the tells that you get as a raid leader, uh, I, I feel is very important. So that's Pratt, uh, P-R-A-T. Next up, Reforge Light. This is my favorite add-on since, I think, BC. Now, it's not exactly a raid leader uh, mod, but it's one that I think you should tell all of your raiders to, to get. It's very simple. It, um, let's say uh, I'm a tank, right? So I need 15% expertise at the moment. That's how pallies are working, so you have to hard cap. And 7.5% uh, hit. Now, look at this. When you go down and look... Oh, sorry. Let me close this. When you actually look at my hit, uh, it is 7.54. My expertise, 15.07. Now, people say, I do it myself, and, um, okay, math genius, get me in less than a minute up to that close while maintaining all my other stats. This is fantastic. Okay, check this out. So you hit this. This is literally all you do is you select your presets uh, for who you are, right? Ret, holy, protection. You make sure your stat weights are right. Uh, it's pretty cool. Expertise, and then you go here, and you say hard cap, and it knows what it is. You don't have to look it up on EJ or Icy Veins that it's 5100, right? Who's going to know that off the top of their head? And, and, and then per fight, I'll, I'll put these at different places. Haste, Mastery, Parry, Dodge. You do it, you, you do it. Okay, literally, you open this thing up. It's so sick. You open this thing up, you calculate, Okay, it calculated. Look at all this fucking madness. I don't know what people do with this, but I don't do it. And then you hit show.
and then anything without a check mark it needs to be reforged you hit the reforge button and it just loads them in over here it is amazing whoever wrote it my hat is off to you you are fantastic okay next up is a real obvious one dbm and bigwigs but i don't think people use it properly uh you'll have a thousand bars up on the screen for no fucking reason that you don't need those things so let's go uh what do you think heart of fear what's a good one Maybe Tarsley in the spring. Let's load that up. Uh, oh, options. Here we go. So general messages. Uh, it does it per boss. How do you do that? I forget. Do 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 do. Motion gun falls. Load that up. Doing something wrong, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I need one. I want to do it per boss. Where the fuck is it? Slash DBM. Do it all the time too. Uh, Oh, here we go. All right, so so you have to load the add-on first, and, and then you get this little plus link. So here it is, right? You have to load add-on, then hit the plus, then pick a boss, right? Now look at all of this stuff that it announces. Um, I don't need inhale. Uh, now, granted, this stuff's on farm, so it doesn't really matter. Exhale's very important to me, but it's probably shit to anyone else besides a healer or a tank. Exhale, the tank has to pick it up, so uncheck that. Uh, if you're not the tank, show warning when force, force and verb, sure. Show warning for attenuation, sure. Announce convert targets, uh, I don't know, I just kind of click on the nameplate and stun the fucker. Uh, show special warning boss changes platforms, really? You didn't see the boss fly by? So, you could be overwhelmed by this information. Now, the DBM guys are fantastic, and I think you should have the option of all, all this stuff. Um, but look at all these timers. You're not even going to know what these are. I see screens which is 100 bars. You know what? <clears throat> I'm pretty good at multitasking. I call bullshit on your ability to look at all those bars and them to make sense. I think it's just being lazy for progression. Now, you're the raid leader, so tell people to shut all this stuff off if they need it. And another one that's really good is when they set up targets for you. How do we, uh, like, uh, allow them to set the... Oh, here it is. An, uh, icons used by this mod. And, uh, and you get to shut that off somewhere. Whatever. It's, oh, shit. Set icons for convert targets. Now, we had I icons for who is going to jump in which uh, bubble for that fight. And, and there's other fights where you want to set your own icons. Uncheck that. So that way you can set the icons. So a lot of this stuff is very handy, and I, I don't think a lot of people know about it. So as a raid leader, you should. Big wigs. I'm guessing as the same thing. I haven't used it since, like, vanilla. Okay, next up, Time to Die. I'm not sure actually it has an interface, but it's pretty cool. Let's see, Time to Die, here we go. So what it does is, based on the DPS that everyone's putting in, it says how we how long it's going to take him to die. Now, there's different phases, and it might affect it, right? You know, oh, the sun phase, and you heal the thing. But it's, it's a good thing to compare against the Enrage Timer. And especially when you start at the boss, and you did phase one, you're like, okay, we did phase one, and that looks really close to what we need it to be. Uh, so time to die is very fantastic. Hope this helped. I want to be really quick about it. So if you have any questions or you really like some add-ons for raid leading, I, I know there's some that track everyone's um, raid walls and stuff. I really don't need to do that. I trust my people, and I say, you know, pop this, pop that. But um, uh, anything else that you think is important uh, be besides the obvious, like, recount, uh, let me know. Put it in the things, and uh, have a great time. Take care, guys. Bye.